Hola, bienvenidos a Wimas. Nosotros somos Latinx Club y bienvenido a Warrior Weekly. On Saturday, September 24th, the Main West Marching Warriors held their second annual marching band exhibition. The Marching Warriors performed their show Mythos. Mythos is a marching show that includes music from Norse, Greek, Roman, and Egyptian mythology. The marching band uses this as an opportunity to show off their skills and work out any problems by having clinicians provide the band with feedback on their performance. On September 6, senior Eric Gonzalez went to a display in city council meeting representing the Maine West Latinx Club to accept the Hispanic Heritage Month proclamation. The proclamation stated that the city council and mayor would honor the contributions that Hispanic people in our community have made and recognize how they have added to the vitality and character to the history and future of displays. And now to Fatima with her sports update. What's up, Warriors? It's Fatima with this week's sports update. On September 28th, the girls' varsity volleyball team lost to Deerfield High School, winning only one out of three matches. The girls' golf team plays fourth at the CSL North Conference Championship on September 21st, with Sofia Capuro shooting a lead way of 93. Sofia placed eight in the conference. Big congrats to golf coach Goldinski for his 250 wins. Good luck in the next tournament. Both the JV and varsity football teams will be main east on the 23rd. The next home game will be October 14th against Niles North in the stadium. And now for an update on your boys varsity soccer team. Hey Warriors, we're checking in with the boys varsity soccer to see how their season's been going and what's been rewarding about being on the team. The season has been going pretty decent so far. We didn't uh, get the result we wanted in conference, but we're trying to push for playoffs right now. I mean, we've had some good moments, some bad moments, but it's like a lot to improve on. Uh, definitely just building chemistry with the team and just building a good foundation of soccer. I feel like as a team, we're starting to like connect better. We're starting to like play better as a team. So I feel like us picking that up is starting to be like kind of rewarding. This is Avery with WMTH Sports. Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated in the United States from September 15th to October 15th. This time is used to understand and honor the traditions and contributions that Hispanic people have made. To tell you more about the many Hispanic cultures represented in our school is Ben Pluta and the Latinx Club. Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated from September 15th to October 15th, and Maine West is home to both students and staff who identify with a variety of Hispanic cultures. I do know that there are some people from Latin America, such as uh, Colombia, Brazil. Uh, we have Mexicans, Colombians, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, and really people from all over Latin America. With there being so many different Hispanic cultures, there are also many traditions. Some of the traditions in my culture would be probably food. Food is involved in a lot of our traditions. It's, I think, most if not all Hispanics agree that food is a pretty big part of our culture. My family, uh, my great-grandmother uh, ran a restaurant uh, which was run by her and her eight daughters and their sons and their daughters. Well there are two traditions that are actually coming up. Uh, the first one is Thanksgiving. It's an American holiday but we do it with a Mexican twist. Instead of having turkey and ham we like to have pozole and tamales. Another tradition that we have is every four years we celebrate the World Cup by watching Mexico play. So this November we're going to get together with my friends and family. We're going to have a nice carne asada, and we're going to watch Mexico hopefully defeat Leo Messi's Argentina. Beyond food and games, Hispanic Heritage Month is also a time for students and staff to honor their identities. Hispanic Heritage Month is important to me because it, I don't know, allows me to show who I am, show my origin, show my roots. Hispanic Heritage Month is important to me because with the fact that all that Puerto Ricans come in all different colors, that 
I've been constantly told that I am not Puerto Rican. I shouldn't be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month simply for the fact that I am light skinned. And when my hair is up, people can't even really tell that I'm Puerto Rican or Hispanic. And I feel like it's important for the different Hispanic cultures to be able to celebrate their ethnicities freely. This is Ben Paluta with WMTH News. Banned Book Week in the Main West Library was held on September 17th through 25th. Here to tell you more about how the Main West Library celebrated the right to read is Addie Webb. During the last two weeks of September, the Main West LRC had shelves covered in caution tape to represent Banned Book Week. A uh, Banned Book Week typically takes place in the last week of September, but uh, this year it was the second to last week of September. And it is an annual celebration that is hosted or promoted by the American Library Association that celebrates our right to read. Liz Thompson ended the week by giving presentations about the importance of Banned Book Week and the process of banning books. A banned book is a, is a book that has been removed from a shelf because um, the material in it was challenged or questioned by a person or group. A challenge is the initial step towards a ban. Usually when a book is challenged, basically what's happening is a person or an individual is coming through and saying, hey, um, I don't like this, I want it removed, I don't want anybody to have access to it. And a ban would be the actual removal of that material as a result of the challenge. But Banned Book Week is not just about banning books, but learning about the importance of book freedom and having the right to read. I think that it demonstrates that um, there's so much that people wouldn't be able to read, uh, or wouldn't have access to, or even wouldn't know about. When we control what people have access to, then we control, we start to be able to control how they think, and it becomes a much, much larger uh, societal problem than just a local, no, you can't read this book. Recently, in the past probably three years, certainly in 2021, predominantly books that uh, centered on stories of people in the LGBTQ community, as well as uh, books written by or about people of color, um, made the top of the list. Yeah. This is Addie for WMTH News. And now for a message from the Student Voice Committee. Hi Warriors, I'm Emily. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, or positive feedback you'd like to make to Student Voice Committee, there will be QR codes posted around the school linked to a Google form. If you wish to fill out this Google form but do not have access to the QR codes, it will be linked on the Main West SVC website. You could find at Main West SVC on Instagram or under your student dashboard located on the Main West website. If you feel your comment cannot accurately be displayed in the Google form, we ask you make it to one of our meetings. We meet every Wednesday at 7.45 a.m. in D105. Have a good day. And now for this week's episode of the Main Minute, where we deliver our school announcements in a minute or less. Hola, Mengues. Me llamo María Contecha y bienvenidos al Minuto de Main. La Sociedad Nacional Oronaria de Arte va a colectar ropa para la despensa de autoayuda de Desplains hasta el viernes 7 de octubre. Se puede dejar la ropa cerca de la puerta principal y la entrada del bus concourse. El club de arte se reúne cada jueves después de la escuela en el salón de arte en Bewin. El comité de la voz estudiantil se reúne cada miércoles a las 7.45 en D105. Vengan para que sus voces sean oídas. El club asiático se reúne después de la escuela hoy en C201. El equipo de matemáticas y de, de freshman y sophomore se junta hoy después de escuela y el de los juniors se junta el jueves. Estudiantes que tienen interés en producir su propio programa de radio pueden inscribirse al escanear este código. Esto es todo para el episodio de esta semana del Minuto de Maine. Warrior Weekly loves to highlight musicians in our community. To close our show, here is the Latinx Club. Hi, I'm Manny. And I'm Jose. And we're going to be playing Me Corto Bonito by Bad Bunny. Gracias por ver y feliz mes de la herencia hispana.